Hello, hello. So right now, I just got ready. My dad and I are about to head out to Beaverton. I feel like I'm always in Beaverton or always on the west side for whatever reason. But anyways, we're about to head out over there to go and watch this wheelchair basketball tournament hosted by Adaptive Sports Northwest. And I'm not playing in the tournament or anything, but just thought I'd go out there and, you know, support you know, my local adaptive sports community, you know, especially for everything that they've done for me and considering that I'm still an athlete through that community. So I just thought we would go out there and support. And then later tonight, I'm gonna to be over at PSU for the annual PSU Kai Began Showcase, which I will explain more later. But yeah, should be a good day and hopefully it'll be a fun night as well. Just left the basketball tournament and it was cool seeing some familiar faces especially in the adaptive sports community so yeah it was a good time even though we were there for probably about an hour or two but not nah, still a good time but right now I am or not I am but we are at the store my dad just went inside to grab something real quick and then he's gonna drop me off over at PSU because I'll be watching this annual Kai Began Showcase. And Showcase is pretty much like a talent show where young Filipino Americans can come and, well, showcase their talents, whether it be singing, dancing, spoken word, etc., etc., you know, just other different elements of the performing arts. So I'm looking forward to that because it's always a good time. And again, I always see some familiar faces, but I'm also excited because, to be honest, the headliner, Jules Aurora, is going to be there. And I low-key have, you could say, like a little YouTube crush on her. So hopefully, you know, I can meet her and we can get like a picture together or something. But yeah, she's super talented and whatnot. And I'm also looking forward to just seeing all the other performers. So yeah, should be a good time and a good rest of the night. And some people think three dozen rounds And that's the only way to prove you love him In the world on a silver platter And a one You guys are beautiful I'm gonna share in the world Oh
finally back home after being out pretty much through most of the day at the basketball tournament and then also at PSU for the showcase for PSU Kaibigan. But shout out to PSU Kaibigan for hosting another successful showcase that is one of their big annual events, especially since I was on the executive board for Kaibigan a couple years back during 2016 17 school year and you know at that time that was when my pam around that time that was when my mom passed away and honestly you know just having friends and people whom i got to see often enough that school through kite began and just a community like that help that process and whatnot go a lot easier of you know just grieving and having them be there for me but yeah, anyway, again, just shout out to y'all for another successful event, another successful show, and shout out to y'all head, y'all headliner, the headliner, uh, Jules Aurora, who is very, you know, she's very beautiful and talented and sweet, and it's cool that we as Filipino Americans have someone like Jules, who you know just represents us in the entertainment industry with the fact that she's from Cali and, you know, reps us and herself. So it's a beautiful thing. And honestly, it was just a good day overall. And it was a good night. And yeah, uh, tomorrow's Sunday. So last day of the weekend. So let's make it a good one. Good afternoon and happy Sunday to y'all. My dad and I got out from mass then headed home real quick to just go eat a quick lunch and then change real quick uh, because we have a busy uh, Sunday ahead of us. Right now we're actually headed to the mall because I need to go buy some uh, stuff, I'll say, for a project, personal little creative project that I'm working on in collaboration with my brother, which I may or may not show you guys in this vlog. Uh, and then after that, we're actually gonna go over to my brother's house to... Uh, to not only work on this creative project that I have, but also this past weekend was my late mom's birthday. So we're gonna have a little, you know, just a low-key get together to, you know, celebrate her birthday. Her birthday was on November 9th and she would have been 60 uh, if she were still around. But it's been almost three years since she passed and you know, I love her and miss her every day. But yeah, we're gonna have a little family get together uh, in a bit after the mall and then after the family gathering, me and my dad are actually gonna go to the Blazer game tonight. They'll be playing the Atlanta Hawks and a huge shout out to my buddy Kip who happens, who also happens to be my wheelchair rugby coach for the tickets uh, that he offered us, or that he gave to us. But yeah, it should be a good Sunday. Super busy, but it'll be a good one. All right, let's do it. So out here right now at my brother's house, and we just had a late lunch. And right now he's actually helping me out with this passion project I kind of told y'all about earlier in the vlog. So might as well tell y'all, but he's helping me make a shirt for the specific design, so I went out and bought the shirts in the mall earlier, just some blank black t-shirts, and then right here he uses this program that he can type up anything or use any image to etch out into a template, and then he basically plugs in that template, he has to load up some material first, and then this machine here in the middle uh, etches out the template. And then after that, he has to do some, cut, some cutting by hand. And after it's cut out, he takes the shirt or whatever and throws it on that machine over there to do a heat transfer of the design, whether it's a text or an image. So that machine over there is pretty much kind of like a, imagine like an iron and a stamp combined into one machine. So yeah, I'll, again, it's like a little passion project that maybe can get off the ground one day but right now it's just in the testing process but i'm excited to show y'all the final sample Let's 
Okay. do baby as you can see we got the dub awesome job tonight trailblazers it's crazy that it went into overtime and it was that close but you know shout out to the team for pulling through especially you know to dame and to base going off on his former team in overtime in back-to-back -back threes and helping us get the dub but no it was a fun game honestly and for me thank you, Kip. yeah thank you kip uh, says my dad for the tickets uh, it was an awesome uh, spontaneous decision uh, for the both of us but no, it's I always have this like preconceived uh, notion that for whatever reason whenever I watch Trailblazers games they always lose no matter if it's on TV or whether I'm watching them live because to be honest I don't know when the last time that my dad and I saw them live and they won. <laughs> so we're both really happy and it was a really good game. But yeah, right now we're actually sitting in the parking garage because it's super traffic and we're, we're parked uh, towards the top of the garage. So it's gonna be a while till we get out. So we just decided to chill here for a bit and then we'll head on out back home. Yeah, it's Sunday night, I got work tomorrow, but it was definitely a good weekend. Again, I'm super thankful for, you know, spending my time with some good people and for the adventures that I get to receive. But yeah, it's time to reset to get set, as I like to say. I guess that could be my new saying. But anyways, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching the vlogs. And if you're new to the vlogs, welcome and you know, this is my life. Hope you enjoy it. All right, y'all. Stay fresh and stay blessed. Till next time, peace.